So the internet's going absolutely crazy right now. Everyone's freaking out because Liver King's emails to his coach were leaked, containing all of the steroids that he's been on, all of the human growth hormone, and it's like a big bombshell. Who didn't seriously think Liver King was on the gear? It was so obvious, everyone knew it, so it's not like a revelation. But now everyone's coming out talking about the, the ethics of, you know, taking steroids and not telling your following. Let's analyze the ethics of what Liver King has done here. So Liver King sells his ancestral lifestyle, all of these tenants and getting out into nature and eating organs. So basically Liver King was giving the assumption that the way he looks was based off of him following these ancestral tenants. And he would say, you know, if you eat these organs, you know, testicles and raw heart and liver, then you're going to have the same health benefits as, as him. So he's misleading people by people look at him and he just looks like a freak of nature, cut, ripped, fit as anything. People are thinking, well, if I eat organs like Liver King and I follow his tenants, then I'm going to look like Liver King. It's misleading. You know, there are plenty of gullible people out there and Liver King is capitalizing off of that. But of course, no one really wants to eat raw testicles and cold raw liver out the fridge every morning. So what does Liver King say? If you don't want to eat the testicles raw, then buy my supplements, which is basically just dried up, desiccated liver and organs and testicles in a capsule. Very convenient with a super high markup so we can make a bunch of money. Now you've got all these bodybuilders coming out. Oh my God, this is so unethical. Liver King, I can't believe you didn't tell everyone you're on steroids. You're telling everyone you're not taking steroids. You're misleading people. We've even got carnivores like the carnivore MD and Sean Baker talking about the ethics of misleading people. I'm just face palming the whole time. Who the hell is carnivore MD who also sells supplements, right? Who tells people there's nothing wrong with having a super high cholesterol. Sean Baker tells people to eat only meat, right, which is not supported by any reputable scientific literature. The only evidence he has to support his claims that carnivore diet is healthy is short-term anecdotes because people remove literally every other food from their diet. It's an elimination diet. They feel better in the short term. There's no long-term outcome data on this diet, and it's putting people at super high risk for heart disease, the number one killer. These carnivores are cholesterol deniers, and they are dare <laughs> criticizing Liver King for lying about his steroid use. And I'm not just saying, oh, well, they're hypocrites, so they can't criticize Liver King. I'm not trying to appeal to hypocrisy. Oh, you can't, you can't criticize Liver King because you do things wrong too. But what I am saying is that there's a massive elephant in the room that no one's talking about when it comes to ethics. Liver King and these other carnivores, but we'll talk about Liver King. He's promoting the consumption of murdered animals, animals that go into a slaughterhouse alive and in fear and come out chopped up into pieces. Liver King, who went viral through his amazing, intelligent marketing campaigns, is encouraging people to eat animal organs that were torn out of the bodies of living animals. Immense suffering caused by animal agriculture, immense environmental destruction, incredibly damaging to human health. But from an animal rights perspective, it's an absolute nightmare. The more people like Liver King who go viral and tell people, eat organs, eat animal flesh, you need it, it's essential for your health. Who suffers because of it? The animals who are being decapitated. Now you could say, oh, well, you know, Liver King's following are being victimized by Liver King. He's, he's targeting the vulnerable who believe him and who are gonna buy his tenants. Who cares? If you fall for Liver King, if you, do, if you looked at Liver King and go, you know what, he's full natty, bro. If you fall for these snake oil salesmen at this point, then there's no help in you. There are always going to be people like Liver King who come out, and there still are people like Liver King everywhere. Carnivore MD, Sean Baker, these people, right, they don't rely on any science. It's all just a cool story. I'm a cool storyteller. Yeah, believe my anecdotes here. Believe, Don't believe the scientists. Don't believe scientific consensus because that's all a conspiracy. Veganism and plant-based diets, that's all a conspiracy to get you to eat, you know, this horrible processed soy and Bill Gates and yada, 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 yada. But listen to me because I've got all the answers. I'll be able to help your health. Don't listen to scientific consensus. Just listen to Liver King and Carnivore MD and all these other people because they've got the answers. But forget about the animals who are being decapitated. Forget about them, right? The real victims are the people who bought Liver King's program, who bought his shitty supplements, thinking that they were going to get big and ripped like Liver King, who has a ridiculously and obviously unnatural physique. What is the big issue here? Look at Liver King's page. He has 
body parts of animals stitched together in some type of horror story monstrosity on his table, goats with their skulls cut out and their brains exposed, different types of animals cut up into pieces on his table, promoting it, and all people want to criticize Liver King for is lying about his steroid use, forgetting about the victims of that slaughterhouse that he promotes. The world is insane. If you're more concerned that Liver King lied about his steroid use than the decapitated sentient conscious beings on his table, then you have your priorities mixed up. This just goes to show how much contempt animals are treated with. All anyone is talking about is his steroid stack. Oh my God, 12 grand on steroids. Oh wow, that's not very ancestral. When he's promoting the mass killing of innocent beings. Imagine if Liver King had a dog on the table chopped up. Human beings on the table chopped up. You know what? It's pretty ancestral. There were cannibals back then too, eating each other, which was fine. It's living consistent with my ancestral ways. Here's some human brains and, you know, some human centipede-like centerpiece on the table saying, hey, eat this. You need it for your health. You know what I mean? It's 100%. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, definitely, mate. No talk of the conscious beings who are slaughtered for this lifestyle. What these carnivores are masters at doing is saying, you know what, if you don't eat said animal product, you're gonna get sick. Your health is going to deteriorate. But what they're doing is distracting you from the horror story that had to happen in order for those animals to be on their plates and on your plate. They help humane wash the industry, you know, this is all grass fed. They don't wanna talk about factory farming, which is what most people are going to buy. When someone advocates just eat meat or just eat animal organs, where are they gonna get those animal organs from? The, everyone has a local, you know, homestead, family farm. No, 98% of the animals that are eaten in the US are factory farmed. Horrible, torturous hell holes, right? And the free range animals, go to the, exactly the same slaughterhouse as those factory farmed animals. If you think that what happens to those animals is so humane, take a step in their shoes. Take a walk into the slaughterhouse and experience what they have to experience before they die. Everyone who's up in arms about Liver King, oh my God, I'd never expected Liver King to be on steroids and to lie to us. Just take a step back and look at the bigger picture here. What is he promoting? Some of what he promotes, really good, get out and sign, you know, get out in nature, really cool. Yeah, no worries. Exercise, fantastic. Everyone knows that. But what is he promoting? What does that look like if everyone ate all meat diets? What does that mean for animals? I just get so sick of people missing the point. They look at animals as food products because they're always chopped up on the plate. Liver King actually uh, did a pretty good job of helping people connect to the animals, showing the heads and the organs and, you know, the hooves and all the other parts that people don't see. Because what you see in the supermarket is usually just chopped up bits of animal body. The world is full of scammers, people with bad intentions, people who want to mislead, people who have ulterior motives. They wanna make money, they want everyone to follow their lifestyle. They've got all the answers, they know best, all right? What we promote as vegans and animal rights activists is not so popular. People don't really wanna hear eat more fruits and vegetables and whole grains. It's not as uh, enticing as a eat T-bone steak every night. People don't wanna hear, you know, animals' rights are being violated. You have to change your lifestyle for someone else. People don't wanna hear that. They wanna hear, do what's best for you. You're gonna look like Liver King and you'll get all these muscles and you'll be so much more successful and healthy and happy and follow me, I've got all the answers for you. What veganism asks is for you to do something for those who can't help themselves, for the most vulnerable beings, right? All these people here, they're capitalizing off of the mass murder of the most vulnerable beings on earth. And all people care about is that Liver King lied about his obvious steroid use. Who cares? The reason I'm making this video, it's not because I'm really interested in like Liver King drama. I'm making this video so that people have a little perspective. All I keep seeing is Liver King, Liver King, Liver King on social media and no one talking about the animals. No one cares. Vegans do, animal rights people do, but most of the people who are criticizing Liver King are eating chopped up, tortured animals themselves. So Liver King was not getting canceled when there was a horrible stitched together human centipede centerpiece on his table, animal brains, organs, chopped up, slaughtered 
body parts on his table. But now, the truth is out. The obvious steroid use has been exposed and everyone's losing their minds. If this isn't an insane and backwards world, I don't know what is.